Imagine stepping into the fiery kitchens of Hell's Kitchen, where every chop, sizzle, and shout can make or break a chef's dream. Today, we're diving deep into the untold saga of Michael Ray, the culinary genius who didn't just win the first ever Hell's Kitchen, he transformed it forever. Buckle up as we serve you the spicy behind the scenes story that left fans and foes alike in awe. Michael Ray, a 27 year old chef from Fort Collins, Colorado, stepped into Hell's Kitchen with a mix of hope and humility. Unlike the chefs who boasted years of experience in high end restaurants, Michael's culinary journey was more modest, rooted in a deep passion for cooking rather than a flashy resume. This made his entry into the competition a topic of quiet speculation. How would this relatively unknown chef fare against the more seasoned contestants? From the get-go, Michael didn't dominate the spotlight. His approach was different. He wasn't there to boast or to intimidate. He was there to learn and to win, albeit quietly. This low-key start didn't grab headlines, but it set a foundation for what was to become a remarkable journey. Michael's initial days in Hell's Kitchen hinted at a chef who was observing, learning, and quietly gearing up to surprise everyone. His underdog status, far from being a setback, became his stealth weapon. The first real test came with Michael's sea dish, which received a lukewarm response from Gordon Ramsay. This moment was more than just about a dish. It was a wake-up call for Michael. The critique put him under the spotlight. Not for the reasons he would have hoped for, but it also lit a fire under him. The pressure was on, and how he responded would define his journey in the competition. Then came the lobster pasta incident during the first dinner service. It was a moment fraught with tension, a test of not just culinary skill, but of problem solving under pressure. Michael's response to the crisis showed a glimpse of his resilience. Despite the chaos, he managed to navigate the situation, showcasing a level of calm and determination that surprised many. This incident was a turning point, not just for Michael, but for the audience's perception of him. His early days in Hell's Kitchen were marked by these struggles and critiques, but they were also where Michael's determination started to shine through. Each challenge, each critique seemed to only strengthen his resolve. It was becoming clear that Michael was not just another contestant. He was a chef with a quiet but unwavering determination to go all the way. As the competition heated up, Michael began to carve out his niche. It wasn't just one moment, but a series of challenges where his culinary prowess really started to shine. He took Ramsay's critiques to heart, using them as fuel to improve and adapt. His quiet demeanor, once seen as a potential weakness, became his strength. He listened, learned, and then executed with precision, often staying calm when the kitchen was in chaos. Michael's leadership and teamwork didn't go unnoticed. There were moments when he stepped up, guiding his team through rough services, and times when he supported a struggling teammate. This balance of skill and empathy solidified his place as a true contender in the competition, someone who could lead by example and bring out the best in those around him. Entering the final stages of Hell's Kitchen, Michael's journey became even more intense. Each dish he presented, each service he led, brought him closer to the title. His creativity and resilience were put to the test as the challenges grew tougher and the competition fiercer. Yet, Michael continued to impress, not just Ramsay, but everyone watching. His ability to remain focused under pressure and to deliver exceptional dishes consistently was remarkable. The moment of victory was a culmination of all these efforts, a testament to his growth from an underdog to the champion of Hell's Kitchen. Michael's win was more than just a personal achievement. It was a moment that changed the course of the show. He had indeed broken Hell's Kitchen, setting a new standard for what it means to be a winner. Well, that is all from us today. If you liked watching our video, do drop a like to this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more such content. We're trying to upload every day, so do let me know what you would like to see from me next.